Okay. In my previous video, we saw how we can install Splunk Universal Forwarder in Linux, Google Cloud Linux, right? So in this video, we'll be talking about how we can install full stack Splunk in Google Cloud Linux. Okay. So if you remember, we created one instance, we created one forwarder instance previously, right? Now, if you see, I, I just shut down that instance. Whenever I will be using it, I'll, I'll be just starting this instance. In that way, the cost will be less, okay? Now, before we install Splunk, we'll be creating another instance for Splunk receiver, right? The full stack, full stack Splunk. So we'll be creating that instance first. In similar way, so we'll be giving the name called Splunk receiver, let's say, okay. Now, similarly, I'll be choosing Asia South 1, Mumbai, and then in the zone is C, okay. Now, as it is, as it is a full stack Splunk, so I'll be choosing two virtual CPUs over here, okay, 7.5 GB memory, okay. Now, for this operating system, We'll be choosing Ubuntu 1 18.10 and the disk size will choose 20 over here. Okay, we'll select, click on select, and then access scope will select allow default access only. We'll select allow HTTP traffic over here because it will be a Splunk full fledged in, uh, instance, right? So we will be accessing that instance from our browser itself. Okay, I'll be clicking on create. So it may take some time to create that particular instance. Okay, we'll wait for a couple of minutes. Once the instance uh, creation is completed, we'll come back. Okay, our instance has been created now and the instance is running. Okay, so as we have seen previously, here also we'll be logging to this particular instance by clicking on this SSH is the most easiest way to log into this instance. I'll show you in future videos how you can uh, access this instance using Putty. Okay. So now parallelly when it is logging in, we will download Splunk. So we'll go to Google. We'll write download Splunk. Splunk Enterprise for free. I'll be clicking on free Splunk. Okay. So here you have to log in as I already logged as I already logged in previously. So it, it logged me in automatically, but you need to log in. If you do not have account to this uh, Splunk.com, you have to create a free account over there. Okay. Then I'll be clicking on this download 60 day trial. Okay. As we are installing for Linux. So I'll be clicking on this Linux tab. I'll be downloading this .deb package. So now as we will be downloading directly to our Google Cloud instance, right? So as we have done for our forwarder installation, I will be clicking on this download now first. Then once the download starts, I'll be canceling it to get the wget link. So I'll be copying that wget link over here. I'll go to this instance and I will paste it over here. Okay enter so it will be downloading to this part this particular splunk installer installer package directly to this google cloud instance okay if i just give ls over here so this is our db package now the installation is very easy dpkg as we have seen previously minus i then the package name shift insert okay okay so requires super user so we first we have to log in as a super user then run this particular command just copy this okay so it is currently installing splunk it may take some time to install splunk over there okay We'll come back once once Splunk uh, installation completed. Okay, the installation is complete now. So that means ideally it should be creating this Splunk home slash opt slash Splunk, right? So it has created that one. 
now as i told previously as well in my universal forwarder video splunk does not start automatically after installation for linux based system for windows it it starts automatically now whenever you are shutting this instance that means we are whenever you are shut downing this particular instance splunk will not be automatically running uh, whenever we are running the instance again right so there is a way you can do is we'll go to our splunk home we are already in splunk home we'll go to bin folder okay now we'll run a command called splunk help you and okay enable boot start okay by doing this what will happen is splunk will be automatically starting whenever we are restarting the server okay we do not need to restart it manually so we need to accept this license okay i'll be giving y over here y okay now over here it is asking me to create an administrator username so i'll be giving a username called admin this is the splunk admin username and password i'll be giving a password so it now enable the boot start okay so now i will be starting the splunk splunk start okay so now my splunk has been started so it is currently running the web server if you see if you know already like when splunk started right our splunk web run on port 8000 right and splunk the run on 8089 right so if you want to access this particular splunk instance from our browser we need to enable this http traffic to this particular server right so to do that what we need to do is we will come back to our google cloud platform we will click on this breadcrumb icon we will go down to the networking okay then go to vpc network and we'll go to firewall rules over here okay and if you see default allow http we will click on this one we'll click on edit then we will give 800 save okay now we have set our firewall rules now let us see the instance or so for that we need to go to compute engine vm instances so this is our splunk receiver right and this is the external ip we have it will copy it so our so let let me let me show you here whenever we access our local instance right so this is how we access http local host then the port number right so i'll copy this one okay so now instead of local host we'll be giving our server external ip not internal ip it should be an external ip so i'll just paste it over here okay so let us see whether we can access it or not so i'll go to our browser i'll paste to this one okay yeah we are able to see it and the username and password we have set when we we have we are running that splunk boot start command right so the same username and password i will be giving over here to log into my splunk okay so yeah we are we are able to successfully install splunk 7.2.6 i think we downloaded 7.2.6 only if i just go to help about this is the 7.2.6 version of the splunk to google cloud ubuntu instance right and also we set up some firewall rules so that we can access that particular splunk from our browser itself okay in the next video we'll be talking about how we can set up a forwarder and whatever forwarder we have set it up in our previous video 
we will be setting up this forwarder to forward the data from this instance to this particular instances okay there are some certain kind of configuration at the instance level this compute engine level as well as our forwarder level like normal outputs.conf and inputs.conf whatever configuration we do we'll see that okay and latter part of this particular series we'll talk about more complex stuff like heavy forwarder setup or Splunk deployment server setup and distributed environment setup as well. Okay, by using the same kind of installation. So, so this this two installation videos will be forming the base of later videos. Okay, see you in next video.